Alright guys, just want to throw out a quick uh, video here that's sort of not really um, in my FPS tutorial list, but it uh, covers something that's sort of new. Uh, it's the character physics type. Um, since they've been doing a lot of improvements, this is the 25610, so it's like the release candidate for 2.66. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys just a quick basic overview of the new character physics type. So as you can see here, I just have a standard cylinder. I threw this blend together in just a couple minutes. I want to take a look and see what they were offering with it. Um, regular cylinder, display type is wired, and then I did the physics type to character, made it an actor, made it invisible. Um, and there are some options here. It's called step height, and you can set that as high. That's obviously just how high you want your steps to uh, be, and it can go over anything that's that height or more. Then your jump force, you can that's uh, for setting how high you want to jump, and the fall max speed. You can say you can only fall, you know, not at all or very far. So, and then I just have collision bounce, convex hull. And these are all just rigid bodies. Um, and then I just have my camera with my uh, D move, which I don't even know if I need that for sure or not, but D move, and then pulse mode, my mouse hooked up high script that I've used before, so um, that's the mouse hooked up high script right there. So, and that's by Razukistan. You can find it in the Blender Artist or yeah, just go ahead and Google it. You'll figure it out. So, essentially I just wanted to see what it's capable of, so let's go and look at our controllers here. Um, we just have our WASD keys and uh, spacebar. And they all just go to AND controllers for some reason called Python. Because I don't think I had a Python brick first. Maybe I did on the camera, but whatever. Um, and then I have a motion and then the motion type character motion. Um, and there you can set, you know, location. And I have this set a lot higher because I was testing the uh, collision, which is a lot better. Um, and then you know, so the X, then the Y, then the X negative, Y negative, and then jump. If you hit the jump, that means that it's a jump key, which is just a space bar. So very quickly, um, you can see I can look around, you know, I can walk around just fine. Um, and I turned the speed up a little bit too much there, but you'll notice that collisions work great. It doesn't sit there and like uh, before if you were using location or D-lock for your uh, oops, looks like it didn't fall off. Loca for your uh, movement it would uh, a lot of times oops, push that off the edge it would um, it would go through objects like the collision won't be detected because bullet physics engine wasn't working. It was, uh, it's actually teleporting your object slightly, so you teleport through things. However, with the character motion, it seems like they have fixed this, um, where it's not an issue anymore, so that's great. Um, also, our jump, as you can see, we're set that a little high, so we're jumping, and you can set that as, as uh, high or low as you want, so. And then I imported some stairs here, and as you can see, oh, let me turn the step high, step height up a little bit more. And let me turn this down to 10 again. 0 0.10. Alright, so as you can see when you approach the steps, you go up the steps, it does the camera jitter, you know, so it tells you it's actually moving up the steps. All that sort of thing. And on the way down. So that's pretty much a basic overview. If uh, if you're making a simple game and want uh, very easy character character setup, because even I'm having issues making steps work with my uh, FPS rig. However, it has unfortunately has a lot more options in this one. Um, but maybe it'll be best if I integrated it in some way, shape into my FPS rig. So we'll see. So that's the basic overview.